Hi, this is tutorial of Copy Trader bot for Dex Stonefy. My name is Vanya. I'm the author of the Tone Underscore Learn channel, creator of the first and most popular tone development course, Tone Fancy Lessons, and Tone Speedrun Educational Project. Today I will tell you how to make a script that copies transactions from someone else's wallet on the Stonefy exchange. To make the tutorial clear, we'll start with simple things and end with copy trading itself. In general, what do you need to know to copy someone else's deal? The first thing you need to be able to do is to make swaps through DEX in code, so that your script can do this for you. The second thing is to be able to find transactions of the other users that we want to copy. Therefore, in this tutorial we will learn how to create a valid on the test network and top it up with a test tone, how to make a swap on a testnet, how to find deals on a testnet, how to get information about transactions on the testnet, and finally, we'll write a copy trading script. Before we begin, a small disclaimer. The code I will write in this tutorial is not of an industrial level. I will especially make everything as simple and clear as possible in order to give you not a fish, but a fishing rod. Also, occasionally I will provide links to some of my tutorials so that you can study this or that topic in more depth, since I will not dwell on every little detail. So this tutorial will not be longer than the director's cut of the Lord of the Rings. Let's start. Part 1. Create a wallet on a test network. The first thing you need to learn to do to automate trading on the blockchain is to learn how to send transactions. We will develop the bot on the test network. This will allow us to not waste resources, real tone coins, on testing on our solution. To send transactions, you need a wallet. We'll collect it using the Tone web library, JavaScript SDK for Tone. Let's install TypeScript and move on on creating a wallet. TypeScript we need uh, in the future. Tone uses data types like cells, slices, etc. to process them. In the most supported libraries, it is expected us to use TypeScript. So, to work with TypeScript, we need Node.js, I already have it on my machine, and uh, we need TypeScript compiler, so let's install everything to our folder. I created a folder, Stonefy bot, and uh, let's create a packages on file. Uh, we use numpy, numpy init. Let's skip everything, uh, only say yes in the end. So now let's install TypeScript. At the command line, enter the following command. Now TypeScript is installed. Uh, once installed, you can enter the following command to check the current version of TypeScript compiler. For example, for me, it will be 495. Okay, great. Uh, we also uh, installed the tsnode package to run TypeScript in the console and REPL for Node.js. It will be very convenient for us, so let's install it. Now we install the node. Okay, great. Uh, all that remains is to install the models to work with Tone. For now, it will be only Tone Web. Let's install it. Numpy install ton web. Ton web. Okay. Great. Now we can start collecting our wallet. Let's create a file in our folder, wallet1.typescript, into uh, which we will import uh, our ton web library. Uh, also, we will need to install a tweet knuckle library. This is a specific crypto library uh, which is used uh, to generate different hashes and for us it will help to generate uh, seed phrase for our wallet wallet in the uh, testnet. Okay, let's wait till our tone web is installed. Yeah, the package is rather big. So we need to wait about one minute for it to be installed. Mm -hmm. Okay, some warning, but everything's okay. Oh 
Okay, 10 seconds more. And... Hmm. Okay, let's just wait till it's done. Okay, great. Uh, now our Tomweb library is ready. Let's go to our wallet one dot TypeScript, and uh, let's start with importing some Tomweb and Tweet Knuckle, which, as I said earlier, we need to create a, a seed phrase. Um, I made some comments with uh, ready to use code to c code faster. So let's use it. Uh, we need to create a, 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 a simple function. Uh, let's call init. Init uh, is our function where we'll write our code. Uh, let's create consts provider. Uh, provider is uh, needed to deploy our wallet to the network since we need somehow to interact with the testnet. And uh, for our provider, we will use uh, open source uh, tone center. HTTP API. As you see, it is in the testnet. Also, you can use APK key if it's needed. Uh, you can update it in the Ton testnet API bot. You will have higher limits. And we create a Ton web uh, from our Ton web provider and API key if you want to use it. Great. After we initialize the provider and initialize Ton web, uh, we want to generate our seed phrase and save it uh, in a base64 format which is suitable for ton. Uh, let's create some helper function and generate our seed phrase. I will take it from here. Okay. Um, oh. uh, great, but I deleted in it, unfortunately. Okay, so what is going on here? Uh, as you can see, we, we created the seed phrase using knuckle library. We have a, now a key pair, a secret key. Uh, and from our seed phrase, uh, we create uh, a suitable for tone format, base64 seed. Let's write it to console and uh, save it. We will uh, need this seed phrase to create our test wallet when we will be performing swaps on StoneFi. Let's go to the console, uh, use test node wallet1.tc. Okay. Okay, everything is correct, and uh, now we see our seed phrase in base64 format. Let's save it to the comments. Note, if you will create some uh, solutions in the mainnet, don't show this phrase to anybody, uh, because they will be able to use your funds. After we have our seed phrase, now we can generate a wallet object. Let's comment our seed phrase uh, generation since we have uh, already our seed phrase. Uh, I'll take some code from the comments. Uh, and what we will do next is uh, we will use uh, our seed phrase to generate wallet. First, uh, what we will use, uh, we will take our seed, pass it to the function and create wallet from seed. Uh, as you can see we will have a key pair and with this key pair using public key we'll generate a wallet object using tonweb. Uh, wallet uh, version 3 is uh, created by default uh, and uh, we will get its address. Let's write to the console our address in a readable form and we'll use this address to pass some test ton uh, to this address. Okay, let's go to the console, test not well at one to see. Let's see what we will get. 
Great, we have our uh, wallet address in the testnet and uh, we will use some um, blockchain testnet explorer uh, to see what we have. Uh, let's go to the browser. I use te testnet.tonscan.org mm. and they see that our uh, wallet is inactive because we haven't uh, deployed it and it has zero tone balance and no transaction history. Let's go back to the code. Okay, uh, let me note that actions in the blockchain network require gas. So, uh, as we need to deploy something to the network, uh, we need some uh, testnet tone. We can use a fault set for it. Uh, the testnet fault set is test giver tone bot. Let's take our address, go to the bot, um, we use get, now some capture, great, now we need to enter our address, and now we need to, uh, to wait some seconds, and we'll see our Ton testnet coins on our wallet. Mm, we need to wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's check if I entered the address correct. VF3 EQD. Yeah, if it's correct, correct, but I think we are in the queue for now. And Okay, uh, till we wait, uh, let me show you how to work with Explorer. In the Explorer, we have four tabs. History, the history of all transactions will be here. NFTs, uh, for example, if you mean some NFTs in the test network, you, can, you will be able to see it here. Uh, jetons, we will use it later when we will be swapping uh, ton to jeton using Stonefly DEX. And our contract. Uh, since we haven't deployed our wallet, uh, this address has no uh, contract, but if we uh, look at some already deployed contracts, uh, there will be some code here. Okay, uh, let's refresh one more time. Great, uh, you can see a transaction to our testnet wallet. This transaction is from testgiverton bot. Now we have five ton, but our wallet is still inactive because uh, we ha we should deploy our contract. Uh, let's do it. Let's go back to the code. Let's uh, add comment deployment, and let's write to console log something when it will be ready. Great. Uh, let's start our script test wallet 1 tc pam pam okay it's ready uh, let's save our address we will need it earlier and let's go to the our don't scan okay let's refresh our page uh, now we can see that our wallet is active. You can see contract type since we use wallet version 3. And if you go to the contract tab, you can see uh, you can save bytecode and raw data of our contract. Great. Uh, now everything is ready to swap on the test network. Let's move on to the next part. Hi, uh, this is part 2. In this part we will make swap on the test network. In the first part we learned how to create a wallet. Now we need to learn how to change tokens on the network and learn how to receive information about transfers on the network. Let's start with the swap of tokens. Uh, at the top level, to exchange tokens on the network we need to send the transaction with the correct payload to the desired address on the network. Uh, the Stonefire SDK can help us with this. 
uh, let's dive into the documents. In the documents, uh, first part of the developer section is architecture. In the architecture, different smart contracts which participate in the swap and other operations um, and also descriptions of the calls. Uh, as you can see, uh, to create a swap, we just need to make a uh, transfer with a payload and we'll get our tokens. Let's go to the SDK. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, developer guide swap. So, as we want to swap our tom to jetons, uh, we need to create payload with the SDK. Um, let's install SDK to our folder. Numpy install boom, 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 getting started um, in Stormfire SDK. Great. Now Stormfire SDK is installing. Let's go to the developer's guide swap and see what we need. So for our swap we need our wallet address which we created in the first part and also two jeton master contracts. One is for our proxy ton that specific uh, jeton to work with ton since we swap cryptocurrency ton to the token jetons. Uh, also, I need to tell you that jetons is a standard for fungible tokens in ton ecosystem. Uh, if you want to deeply understand how tokens work, I have a separate lesson with analysis of a jeton standard in my ton fancy lessons. Okay, let's move on. So, when we have uh, two addresses, we need to initialize rotor. Rotor is a heart of the Stonefire ecosystem. It's a contract with which our Jeton master contracts will uh, use messages to interact with. And with the, this rotor, pools are creating different messages and swap tokens. Uh, for the mainnet, Rotor address is hard coded into the SDK, but in our case we need to designate it manually. Let's go to our code. Let's create a new file wallet one swap tc and create our wallet with code like we did it in the first part. As you see, we need our seed phrase. Let's take it from our first script. We saved it. Great. Okay, we have a private secret part. We create wallet and now we need to create a payload. So in the test network, we will be um, swapping our ton, testnet ton, to some stone. It is just a jeton for testnet. Great. Uh, this is our router, our heart of the stone file. And what we need to do next is to copy uh, from the docs creation of the payload. Uh, let's just copy it. I have it commented for our ease. Okay, let's copy. Uh, and as you can see, uh, uh, at the end uh, of our payload creation, Stonefire SDK gives us to whom we should pass our transaction uh, amount of ton which is needed for such swap and a payload uh, where the all information about the swap is held. Great, so we want to spend half of the ton and to swap it to the stone jeton. Uh, let's look what we have what payload, what amount, uh, we need to create such operation. Let's go to the console.
Okay, some mistake. Let's see where it is. Uh huh. Okay, we need to write our wallet here because it is needed for the payload since we need to know who is the owner of the swap at the all steps of the swap creation. Great. One more time. Great, now we have our payload and all we need to do is to create a transfer, a simple transfer uh, with our wallet. Uh, let's add some code. So what is done here, uh, we just simply take uh, what Stonefy SDK give to us and use it in simple transfer. We take address tool, we take amount and we take payload. Let's run our script and look what we'll have. Okay, finished. Now let's go to the our explorer, testnet explorer, to our address f3 and look what we have here. So there are two transactions. Uh, one is from us out transaction to the Jeton Master Rotor contract, and another one is from the Stonefy DAX. Let's go to the Jeton stop, and we see we have we gained Stone Testnet tokens. Great. In the next part, we will uh, try to find this swap on chain. Part 3. Let's find our swap. In order for a copy trading script to repeat swap, you need to be able to find information about the swap of specific wallet. If we are on the mainnet, we could use the Stonefy API, uh, namely operations. Uh, you could see it in Stonefy docs uh, in the section API. For example, if you go to DEX API, you will see Swagger documentation and there will be operations operations yes wallet operations great but there's no API in the testnet so we have to find our information on chain so let's go back to the documentation dive into how swap happens okay each transaction here from circle to circle is messages transmitted by smart contracts as you understand, the pay to message is sent when swap is completed. But what will the information uh, we we can what, what what information can we take from transaction when a rotor contract gets it and parse those pay to opcode? If you don't know, opcode specifies what the contract should do when a message is arrived to it. So let's look in the documentation what pay2 can give us. Let's go to the API reference uh, and find pay2 here. Rotor. Mm -hmm. Pay2. Yeah. There it is. Pay2. So pay2 initiates a jeton token transfer from wallets belong to this router called from pools. Great. So what we can see here, we can see a message body with a code, pay to some query ID, owner, address of receiver, exit code and some refcoins data. Amount of the first jeton token and its address, amount of second jeton token and its address. So as you can see, if we parse this uh, opcode transaction, we can understand which wallet owner where token zero address and how many tokens uh, this wallet will receive but this is not enough for us since it's not clear how much it needs to be sent remember the payload of the swap swap so so it, from uh, those payload we can understand how much ton was sent and let's look at in token zero address and internal transfer uh, this one uh, 
As you understand from the architecture, if we look at this address, we'll find our first initial transaction with the payload, and we'll be able to understand how much ton we sent. Uh, if you want to dive deep and understand how the jetons work, I had a separate lesson in my ton fancy lessons. Uh, okay, we've sorted out the theory. We know that we can track swap uh, using pay tool and we can track how much we swapped if we go to the token address. So now we need to understand how to find this information on chain. Uh, to parse transactions and payload messages, we need to add some libraries that make it easier to us to work with uh, ton blockchain types, such as cell, slice, and others. So let's install such a uh, library. Its name is uh, ton, and let's take it. Ton. will take some time. Uh, these libraries will allow us to conveniently parse the information we need without going to the low-level work. Uh, let's create a file pay to dot TypeScript in our folder and import libraries and also let's create some function in it and initialize the provider. Also, you can see that there is a router address. Since in this part of the tutorial, we're gonna parse transactions from the router. Okay, so the web library, which we used in previous parts, allows us to make various requests to the light server of Ton. One of these requests allows us to retrieve the, the latest transactions of the address. Let's call this method and parse it using the load transactions function and see what codes can we find in our router. Uh, so I prepared uh, some code. Let's, let's use it. Uh, as you can see, we use uh, get transactions function and pass some information about how many transactions we want to see. I wrote 10. Uh, let's look how well, let's look what we get. Um, there's node pay to TypeScript. Okay, I forgot to write uh, console log so. Right. One more time. So now we see different opcodes from our router. From documentation, uh, we understand that there are many of them here. But we need pay two with uh, nine F nine three BBB four three F. Let's dive into the this opcode and see uh, how to parse such information. Uh, oh. Great. Uh, so you can see that I'm doing some extra processing of the transaction to get the information. I'm using load uint, load addresses, begin parser, load transactions. In this tutorial, I will not cover re receiving and parsing transactions in detail. This is a separate large topic. If you're interested, I suggest you to look at Edenial tutorials at my Tom Fancy lessons. There is a separate lesson about how to parse transactions. So let's call our script and see what we get now as we save our script. Great, let's go to the top. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is our wallet, which we created in a previous um, 
bots. And there is our swap and token addresses and amount out. This is how much uh, tokens we get. Uh, now uh, we also see our wallet address as I said and this means that we also receive the return addresses of the router and now let's try uh, get our transactions from there and understand how much ton was sent to exchange. Such logic will allow us to copy the swap. So now we have token address, this one. Uh, let's repeat the code from previous part and try to take from this all the transactions how much ton we transferred. Uh, so let's create file jeton typescript import libraries. Uh, we changed router address from the previous script to the jeton valid address. We take it from uh, our previous parts of pay to op code and uh, we parse its transactions. So uh, here we should get the amount of ton we transferred so we can track the whole um, dex swap. Let's uh, start with script. So we see address, we see opcode, but uh, to understand which opcode we need, we need to go to the Jeton standard, and from the Jeton standard, uh, we understand that we need F8A7EA5. Yeah, we have it here, so and we have our address from this is our valid, so we see our transaction. Now we need to parse this transaction. Um, to take uh, how many tons we exchanged. So let's take this a small amount of code, add it here, and we'll be able to see um, how much ton we exchanged. Let's try this one more time. So we see address, we see amount of ton. Great. Now we have everything to create our copy trader bot and everything to create swaps from the code. Let's start with our copy trader. Finally, we go to the copy trader bot script. In this part of the tutorial, we will write a script that will copy transactions from one pool, namely purchase the stoned token for Tor in the testnet. The logic will be simple. We will create a cron script that runs every 5 seconds with a job that looks at new swaps in pay2 here. Then it will check from which address the swap was sent and whether it is the right pool and the right address, we'll copy such swap with our another valid. Of course, uh, we'll collect all the needed information as we made in the previous steps. So let's create another valid, uh, those we will use in the copy trading script. Let's create a file valid second.typescript. Uh, it is absolutely similar to the script that we made at the first part of the tutorial. We just need to create another seed. Let's do it. Great. Mm. Let's uh, copy this. This will be our seed phrase. We will need it to create a wallet in our copy trading script. 
now we need address for our test Neptune since we will be buying jetons with this wallet let's copy here our seed phrase and uncomment this part great uh, now we'll be able to take address from our script let's do it great so this is our new address uh, now we need to go to the testnet tone giver bot and get some testnet tone here Hop. great uh, now we need to wait some time till we get our testnet um, testnet tone. Uh, let's check it in the um, our tone scan when it comes. So we need to wait and refresh for some time. Uh, and after our testnet tone comes to our address, we will be able to perform swaps from our uh, copy trading script. Great, we have five ton on the balance, no jetons as you see. Now our wallet is ready for performing swaps. Uh, but we need to deploy it. So let's uncomment this part and deploy it to the testnet. see ready so let's go to the our tone scan our explorer let's refresh a bit so now it's active and we are ready to go to our copy trading script um, let's move on to the copy trading script since it turns to be out rather large I'll just go through it uh, first of all, we need to install the cron library. It will allow us to run the script every 5 seconds. So let's install it. numpy install cron. Uh, um, so every 5 seconds we will be using our script uh, and check checking the wallet we want to snipe. Uh, to perform swaps like this wallet made. So our cron is installed uh, and let's go to the script. So at the beginning cron trader type script you can see that we create time. Uh, this is our current time. We needed to understand whether the swap occurred after the launch of our script. Uh, in the case of copying a swap, we will update this time and thus uh, will copy only new swap, not the historical ones. The next part of the code is similar uh, and is familiar to you. Uh, we create provider, ton web class, apk, everything is familiar to you. Uh, this is our router, we get its transactions, we load them, we check new transactions, we parse pay to. We find needed information um, when we uh, after the parsing of transactions from the router uh, and we take new swaps we look to see if among them there are swaps from the wallet that we want to copy so let's add our copy address here it will be the address from our first part of the tutorial f3 wallet great uh, now we have a wallet to copy, uh, we parse, it, parse transactions in the router, find transactions from this wallet. Now we check if the swaps uh, goes to the pool of stone and ton token, we check the jeton master wallets. Uh, and later we receive all the informations uh, from the jeton wallet uh, to perform the swap. Uh, but we need to pass our wallet address here 
because as you remember it is needed for building a payload let's pass it here great also we need to pass a seed phrase from our second wallet since we need to create its class here great now we have uh, everything to perform the swap uh, let's run our script and perform the swap from the first wallet Now we will see the jobs running, so start time, job tick, it's Unix time, job tick, another job tick, and every 5 seconds it will search for new updates. Now let's open another console, uh, go to our folder, uh, and uh, go to our folder. And uh, make a transaction from our first wallet. We already have uh, such uh, script. It's called wallet one swap. We wrote it in the second part of this tutorial. Let's perform it. Wallet one swap. Uh, let's wait for our swap. Great, our swap is performed. Now we need to wait a little while the messages from our swap go through the entire exchange chain. And after we will see our swap copied here. So let's wait, we need to wait about 30 seconds uh, because as you see from the architecture the swap is rather big. Great, as you see the swap is finished, the job is ended and we can see that we copied this swap. Oh, let's stop our script. Uh, so we copied uh, this swap. As you see, it's from uh, ton to stond. You see the amount and the Unix time. So it's new swap which we perform from our script well at one swap TC. Let's go to our blockchain explorer. Uh, and watch if the jetons are on our wallet. Let's take our wallet and see what is going on here. So you see the swap which was performed with our script and you see that the stunt jetons are on our balance. Great. Uh, so you see that our script copied the deal and I'm sure such a simple example uh, like this opens opportunities for building your bots on Stonefy Dex. Uh, also, at the end of this tutorial, I would like to note the quality of Stonefy documentation. Uh, I think that is a very good example for all the developers on Ton. I hope this tutorial wasn't too complicated. I will post the code of tutorial uh, on github tom fancy lessons eng. I will be grateful for stars on the repository. Also in a couple of weeks I will post a text version of the tutorial in the ton underscore learn channel. Thanks for your time, create projects on ton, use stonefire sdk and enjoy the technical elegance of ton as I do.